In this example, we will be looking at a stiffened rectangular plate under uniform pressure. We will be using ANSYS Workbench Mechanical Application. This is a simple stiffened shell structure, which has one meter square sides and is six millimeter thick. The plate has simply supported edges and is under a uniform pressure load of 0 0.01 megapascals on the top surface. There are three stiffeners at the bottom surface, each are 6 mm thick and 100 mm deep, and the stiffeners are 250 mm from the edge and 250 mm apart. And we are interested in finding out the maximum displacements and maximum stresses on this simple structure. We will be analyzing this using a shell representation. Therefore, we will be creating surfaces. If we wanted to model this in the mechanical APDL application, the usual approach is to create separate areas which are joined with uh, lines. Uh, so they are sharing lines at um, a certain boundary. We will be creating shared topology between the, the top plate and the stiffeners. The alternative approach is to use the mesh connection tool uh, that is especially useful if there are any gaps between uh, the stiffeners and the plates and you got some curved surfaces that will create a good joint between the top surface and any stiffener. Uh, shape. We will create the uh, surfaces using Design Modeler and we can do that on the XY plane for the main plate. So we can go to Sketching. Uh, first of all, Auto Constraints are turned on and we can look at the settings and we can show um, the grid, for example, and we can also define uh, the grid spacing and let's say make this at 0.1 meters apart and that will help with the spacing of uh, the geometry, um, especially the, the vertex points can be more accurately um, defined. So uh, the actual geometry is relatively straightforward. So we'll start a point at the center of the XY plane, and then we'll uh, define um, the size of the plate. If you look at the right bottom corner, it's actually telling me the XY dimensions. So I'll click on um, the point when it notes say it's 1-1. One, one. So that's my um, geometry for the rectangular plate. Um, what I'll do is I'll put some dimensions on it so that they are exactly what I want. So the vertical dimension, I hold uh, these two edges and also a vertical dimension. So you can click on these two edges and you can specify them exactly like one meter and one meter on each side. So the Stefners will need a separate um, coordinate system. So we can define that under um, the coordinates on the toolbar. But uh, let's look at the modeling again. So under XY plane, we can see the sketch and we can create a concept for this, which is the surfaces from sketches. And we'll need to apply. And we can give it a thickness of 0. 006 meters, which is six millimeters thick, and click on generate. So this is 
our uh, representation of the plate. Now we'll need to create uh, the the stiffeners based on a different uh, coordinate system. So for doing that, we'll need to create um, a coordinate system that is perpendicular to the XY plane. And we can also align this um, or offset this from the edge of the plate. So if you go, go at, uh, so if you look at plane four, the one we created, it is um, base plane is, um, we can check, for example, that can be the uh, YZ plane. So that new coordinate system will be defined on that. And then we can press apply. So we can offset this uh, new plane um, using a transform operation. We can do transform one, and then we can offset it in the um, Z direction. That is the blue um, arrow that's shown on the screen in this direction. So that is 0 0.25 meters. And um, we can click on generate. So that defines our plane now, which um, we can create the first stuffner. Um, and to do that, we can again um, select a plane and create a sketch on that plane. And the sketch will be a simple rectangle again. And we can constrain it with the the center of the, um, the plane and also, well, we can extend it further. We'll, we'll dimension it. We'll put a horizontal dimension on this based on these two lines and the vertical dimension based on these two lines. And the vertical direction is 0.1 meters and H2 horizontal one is exactly one meters. So that defines the surface um, which will be based on this sketch. So we can go to uh, modeling and then uh, create a concept surfaces from sketches and we can apply. We'll specify a thickness of 0 0.006 millimeters, and then um, we'll need to make sure that this is add frozen. So it is actually creating a separate part. So um, when we generate this, it'll create a new surface, but it's not really adding a material to the previously generated uh, one meter square plate but it's a, a separate part. So if you look at under uh, the tree, at the bottom of the tree, you can see that there's one surface body and there is a separate surface body for the um, stiffener. And we can create a pattern with our uh, stiffener surface. Uh, so we'll go to create pattern and We'll select our geometry, apply, and the direction is selected as the z-axis uh, of our plane. Press apply, and they're offset as 0.25, and we'll need to create two copies of this uh, stiffener. So we'll just click on generate, so that will add uh, two further stiffeners on our uh, system. So we can look at this in a different angle. We can see that the stiffeners are created at the bottom of our plate. And there are now uh, four parts and four bodies, which will be formed into a new part for shared topology. 
When we started the mechanical application on the workbench, it has attached the geometry we have created. And we can check that under geometry and parts, and we can find our surface body is listed here. Under connections, nothing has been defined. Under mesh, if we simply update this, it'll create a relatively coarse mesh. And we can find that it's giving us a, a shared topology mesh because that was the default setting we have used in Design Modeler. So we can continue with this mesh and apply some supports and the pressure load. So the support I want to add are simple, um, simply supported boundary conditions and we'll define the edges required around the perimeter of the one meter square plate. So we press apply and we need to also constrain it in the XY plane by fixing a couple of points to avoid any rigid body motions. So we can do that by applying displacements and we'll constrain a couple of the vertex points in the Y direction, for example. So we'll specify a zero displacement in Y in the vertex and make sure we apply this into the geometry we selected. And to fix it in the X coordinate, we also need to fix another point and add another uh, displacement there. So in the X, that's going to be zero. And the next thing we need to apply is the pressure load. So we can define the pressure load on the surfaces. Um, so we'll select um, the top surface of this geometry and define 0 0.01 uh, um, megapascals. So we need to do E sex. And that's essentially um, ready to be sold. But if you note the arrow is pointing up, I wanted to change that in the negative direction. So it's now acting down the way. So we can continue the solution by adding some solution items like the von Mises stress, the formations, and some maybe normal stresses, for example, uh, stresses in the X direction and stresses in the Y direction. So we can orient the second one in Y axis. So we can solve this. Once the solution is completed, we can look at the different solution items. Uh, for example, the stresses in the Y direction um, that are compressive at the top and tensile at the bottom and stresses in the X direction. Again, that's in this direction, the X direction. Again, they are compressive at the top and tensile at the bottom. And we can look at equivalent stresses, which are highest on the stiffeners. And we can look at the deformation and the maximum deformation is um, 0.1 of a millimeter. And we can even create some simple animations to uh, visualize the deformation of the structure. 